What's going on guys? This is Logan with West Desert Wheeler and I just broke a truck trying to make the last obstacle in a previous video. I got another truck with me, so we're going to see if this one's up to the task. Let's go see if my RC Speedy A1 can take on the Iron Man Trail and come out on top or at least in one piece this time. Let's go find out. Alright guys, we've got our RC Speedy A1 chassis on Capra axles. This has got the four link front end and not a chassis mounted servo. I really like the A1 for the shock mounting positions. But I think the servo mount design was bad. Especially when given a, f a free form platform where you can just come up with anything. I have a similar chassis mount servo for a Capra, but I'm within the limitation of an existing Capra cage. Speedy had the ability to build whatever they wanted. These BFGs are getting good traction here. I was just playing on this wall a minute ago with the cut and shut tusks, and I think there's an edge and attraction to these tires. Now this is a totally different rig, a little more weight, so maybe that's coming into effect here, but... Uh, I want to I want to get good speed and then just just come to a stop near the left side. Doesn't look like we're going to make this wall. So, we'll take the bypass and move on to the next obstacle. Sydney's out here and she just got kind of trapped up in this obstacle. She dropped a leg in one of the cracks and uh, had to help her out. She's usually pretty dang good on her feet. I mean, a little little excited right now. I don't know why. All right, here we go. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about this hooligan. Yeah. You, you crazy dog. So, here we go. These tires are well scrubbed in. Lots of miles on them. So, no surprise, the scrubbed in G8 compound getting loads of traction. And just if anybody's wondering, the time difference between my Kraken run and this run has been about 10 minutes. In that Kraken video, I drove into an obstacle that I was quite confident wouldn't work. And then it made it further than I thought. So now, I kind of have to try it with the Speedy and see what happens. This car has lots of overdrive and a dig unit in it. It's got a Vanquish three gear transmission along with the Hertz dig unit. Reef's Smart 1100 servos front and rear with an external BEC, Hobby Wing Fusion, Reef's 299 servo for shifting that dig unit, so it's very fast. Floated that tire right up there. Worked out just super smooth. Drive that rear right up. That was that was smooth, man. That was working well. Uh -oh. I do think this car is going to be a little narrower than that Kraken is which is not going to help our cause here. Something's not working here. We'll just move on. I don't think this is happening. All right. Let's see if the Speedy can make this obstacle. The Kraken just cracked it open. Putting our cut and shut joints to the test here. Okay, we already got the front through the hard pinch. 
Previously, I just couldn't get that right for some reason. So there she goes. I'm gonna have to get the rear to go through, which is never easy to get the rear through hard pinches with high overdrive because, oh crap. Well, our dig unit endpoints are not set correctly right now. Well, let's pull it out of there before we break something else. Okay, there we go. So I did make some major changes to the suspension since the last video where I took it out for the first time. I took the shocks and I mounted them to the outside of the shock mount. So they're only single shear now. And it puts a little more outward angle on the shock itself and the way the spring pushes against the car. Uh, previously, they were pretty well just vertical straight up and down. And now they've got a little bit of side angle to them. Now, real cars, they do that too, as well as the MOAs. And I've heard Thomas with Fab and 801 explain kind of why you want that. And basically, something similar to this, how the car's on an uphill angle, a little bit off camber. That spring has, uh, it fights harder in that direction and doesn't give up quite as easily on side hills and stuff like that. It's, it's hard for me to explain, I guess. Maybe I don't fully understand it as well as I should, but uh, that's what we did, and now it's keeping the chassis a lot more level. So I'm liking how it's handling and how it's driving. Then we get to make this transfer through this corner. This car's wheelbase must be longer than the Kraken because the Kraken had more of a bite up top of the rear. But these tires were able to pull it right up and out of there. A little bit easier than the test. So yet again, seeing kind of an edge go to the crawler. So very interesting to see. All right, so we bypassed the obstacle that I broke my Kraken on. And we're gonna try this third obstacle because I've never put tires on it. So Speedy gets the first shot. Depending how this goes, we can move on back to the obstacle I broke the Kraken on, give it a shot and see what happens. So, what's going to happen in here? ledge in the bottom. I have no idea how I'm going to get my rears through there. These tires are locked in, man. Okay. Maybe using our dig here. Let's try it. Try and pull the front down in here. Try and get a good pinch in the V-notch. It's pulling hard. Four wheel. This may be the exact car we needed for this obstacle.
Come on, Speedy. Come on, Speedy. Yeah! Get it. That was sick. That's a gnarly, gnarly pinch in the bottom. And with a little bit of dig, we got that figured out. The rear came through easier than the fronts, which is really, really surprising. Oh, turning the wrong knob for the rear steer there. Okay, so I'm already seeing that I'm not quite on the line I'm trying to get on. So we're gonna take a little reverse and try and correct it before there's a problem. I need that left rear to come up without upsetting the car. This is real technical bindy maneuvering here. I'd really like to have that rear up and out of there a lot more than it is right now. Dudes, yes! That's a sick line. So, so cool. I wasn't sure this was going to be possible. I was wondering if it was going to end up too steep. To this point, it's working. But we still got a ways to go. We'll see what happens. Come on, Speedy. I'm looking way down. This is a steep climb. Hold on to it. Just want to get my sidewall around that point. Yeah! Man, it, it pretty well cruised through that. I took my time and really finessed it, and it took some work, but like, it ate that up. That was cool. What do you guys think on that obstacle? Did it look tricky? I'll tip right there. There we go. Leave it to me to ruin the exit. That was so sick. Hell yeah, Speedy. That's what I'm talking about right there. Here we are. The spot that killed the Kraken. It didn't really kill it. I just broke a portal gear. No big deal. But this car is a different wheelbase. It's longer. So... Not sure how that's going to affect the line of this crawl. There the front goes. Uh, it was going. <laughs> this is this is tricky. Cuz once the front is that light little movements of the rear steer can throw it offline. No! <laughs> I actually want it to torque twist right here. And then I'm going to put it in a dig and see if we can dig our way through there. If I put it in dig too early and the tire's already down, it's just going to settle the suspension more. The drivetrain bind is what makes it float the tire. So if I make it stop binding, it will just fall.
It's like too settled. I need to like get a full reset. This is one of those obstacles you can just burn battery after battery on. Because it just gives you just enough hope to be like, I think it's possible. Come on. It's not going to reach. It, it just lets go when I need it to. When I need it to hold on. Now, oh, come on. Okay, don't go too crazy now. Okay, rear is locked in. We got the dig. Don't lose the front. I'm gonna turn the rear steer to try and position the fronts just in any different kind of way I can. It changes the, sh the reach of the car as I turn the rears. I feel like that's a good spot. No! Damn it. You guys remember that video I made with Jesse Haynes and uh, Caliph Redden and Jeff McKinley? This is where Jesse and Caliph dragged their cages through going the direction we're looking that video did really well this year so thanks everybody who watched it if you haven't seen it it's called like uh wildest shit i've ever seen that's on the thumbnail of the video and i mean it like it's some of the absolute craziest rock crawling i've ever seen those guys are just next level it's super fun to go wheeling with them so if you want to see some crazy full-size rock crawling, check it out. It's funny, some people are all like offended by the video. They're like, why would, why would you even want to do this? It's like, because you can't, that's why. Getting a little trapped in there with all the rocks and boulders. Should be able to squeeze through this part. Never driven through this area, so. I never got past that last crack we were playing on. You know, it's, I still think it's possible. I just may need to come out here without a camera and dedicate an hour and a half or two to just playing on it. Speedy's tearing it up today though. She's doing good. Now this wall is actually slightly over 90. It's a, just a touch of an overhang to it. But there's just enough angle on the bottom side wall and we should be able to get a pinch and drive up through here, so we'll see how she does. Ooh, it's steep in there. Nice. Just, you see that thing get the traction and just start pulling. Right up and out. 
That worked really well. Oh, how I love Sand Hollow, because everywhere you explore, there's just little, little golden pockets like this, man. Ooh, that's how it's gonna be, huh? I've said for a while now, through experience, the more vertical the walls, the harder it is to stay balanced. This is true with the real and the little cars. And these walls are just about vertical. I'm worried this is gonna get real steep at the end. Ooh, she might pull it off. Yeah! Dude, the Speedy's knocking them down today, man. One after another. That was a really cool obstacle. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Just need to hit it with the rears more balanced. Still floating that front tire. There she goes. First one to ever see and get through that, I guess. But wow, this car's good. I'm glad I bought this thing. Well, all right, friends, that's pretty well the end of the Iron Man Trail, at least the top half. We uh, we skipped over the, the entrance there. But lots of fun obstacles. I think the Speedy is really doing well for what it is. It, uh, it has surprised me a few times now, so pretty excited about the new purchase. Hope you guys are enjoying the RC Speedy content here on the channel. This is, uh, this is the new WDW metal buggy that at least I can like go beat on within reason and not to feel too bad. My, my UC fab, I don't really want to thrash on it. It can take it, but the, uh, the chassis alone costs about as much as this whole car did. So, you know, that's how that goes. But the A1 in titanium, I've, I'm liking the geometry we've got. I'm liking how the car's handling. It's been a fun car. Of course I can get this line off camera and then as soon as I get the GoPro out, then she doesn't want to stick anymore. Let's, let's get a different angle. As always, there are affiliate links down below. You can purchase those through Amain or Horizon. There's an Amazon affiliate. If you guys are buying parts online, be sure to use those. It helps support me here on the channel. But of course, always go support your local hobby shop like mine right there on the back of the fuel cell. Sky RC Hobby Shop. I always shop local first. Help support the local hobby shops, man. You got to keep them around because those days where you got an exciting new project and you need something that day, local hobby shops can't be beat. I hate waiting on shipping. So that's going to be it for the RC Speedy here today. Thank you guys very much for watching. Again, hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Keep your rubber side down.